Freedom Summer was trying to provide an opportunity for African Americans to vote, to register to vote, because they had been denied the right to vote for almost a century by a, a racist uh, power structure in Mississippi. Because there are whole regions of Mississippi where African Americans are the majority. And if they can vote, they can have political power. And that's part of what the white power structure was so afraid of. And so the idea was, if we can bring students from all over the country, from the best schools in the country, if you have an interracial delegation, it'll shine the light of uh, national publicity on, on Mississippi, and maybe we can change that. So all of these uh, volunteers, close to a thousand, in the communities, basically living in the black communities all over Mississippi, doing voter registration and freedom school work. So it's a really important moment in the struggle for voting rights and for freedom in, in the 1960s. You couldn't just bring people who were inexperienced down to, um, to Mississippi. The thing is that um, it's very dangerous and it's a different world. You had to get people ready and just generally acclimating them to the really almost warlike situation they were going to face down there. It's like going into combat except you don't have any weapons. You know, there was some tension about whether or not they should bring these white kids down there. Fannie Lou Hamer would say, well, we can't, we're fighting segregation, we can't be segregated ourselves, you know. But there was this sort of feeling like, you know, those volunteers represent how racist white America is, that they only care about, about violence if there are white people involved. But the fact is that the African American organizers have been down there for two, two, almost three years already in some cases. So they are the ones who are leading them, and somehow or other they don't get the attention. What Freedom Summer was able to do was to get people to have this interracial experience that was really you know, very, very deeply moving and very, very powerful. Eventually SNCC, uh, a few years later, um, became an all-black organization, and so that interracial um, a coalition began to break down. But the actual sort of impact of this as a kind of inspiration for democratic change just lived on long after uh, Freedom Summer itself.